The land of Atlantis has no king, nor ever had one. And this is the law of the land of Atlantis, that seeing that it has never had a king, it shall never have one forever. Therefore in Atlantis the sons of the highest hold sway, who tell the people that never in Atlantis have there been a king. Alzar, king of Atlantis, and lord of the lands nearby, commanded for the closer knowledge of the gods that their images should be carved in Atlantis and in all the lands nearby. When Alzar's command, directed abroad by trumpets, came tinkling in the ear of all the gods, right glad were they of the sound of it. Therefore, men mined marble from the earth, and sculptured busied themselves in Atlantis to obey the king. But the gods stood by, where the sculptures might see them, and draped in clouds about them, and put upon their divinest air, and the sculptures might do justice to ancient gods. Then the gods stepped back into Atlantis, and the sculptures hammered and shaped, and there came a day when the master sculptures took audience of the king, saying, Oza, king of Atlantis, high lord, and moreover, in the lands nearby, to whom be the gods so kind? Humbly have we completed the images of all the gods as were in the whole. Then the kings commanded a great space to be cleared among the houses in the city. And there the images of all the gods were born and set before the king. And there were assembled the master of sculptures and all his men. And before each stood a soldier bearing a pile of gold upon a jeweled tray. And behind stood a soldier with a drawn sword pulling against their necks. And the king looked up upon the images, and though they stood as gods with the clouds and draped about them, making the sign of the gods, but their bodies were those of men, and their faces were very much like the king's, and his, their beards were as the king's beard. And the king said, These be indeed ancient gods, and the soldiers that stood before the sculptures caused to present to them piles of gold. And the soldiers that stood behind the sculptures were caused to sheath their swords, and the people shouted, These indeed ancient gods, whose faces we are permitted to see by the will of Alzar the king, to whom be the gods care. And the messengers were sent abroad through the cities of Atlantis and all the lands nearby, proclaiming the the images. These be the ancient gods. Up in the ancient crystal city of the gods screamed with anger, and Moon leant forward to make the sign of Moon against Alzheimer the king. But the gods laid their hands upon him and showed the same. Slay him not, for it is not enough that Alzheimer shall die, who have made the faces of the gods to be like the faces of men, but he must not even have ever been. Then said the gods, Speak we of Alzheimer a king? And the gods said, Nay. We speak not. And the gods said, Dreamed we one of Alza? And the gods said, Nay, we dreamed not. But in the royal palace of Atlantis, Alza's passing suddenly, out of the remembrance of the gods, became no longer, and a thing that was or had or ever been. And by the throne of Alza lay a robe, and near it lay a crown. And the sons of the highest of the gods entered his palace and made it a temple of the gods. And the people coming to worship said, Whose was this robe, and to whose purpose is this crown? And the sons of the highest answered, The gods have cast away a fragment of a garment, yet from the fingers of the gods have slipped one little ring. And the people said to the sons, Seeing that Landis have never had a king, Therefore be ye our rulers, and make ye our laws in the sight of ancient gods.